Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Wendy and uh, Vizoa, for having us on here. So today we're here to talk about how new windows can save money and lives in your stratus. Um, a lot of things have changed over the last uh, couple of decades when it comes to windows and we're very happy to be here to kind of talk about those two areas of major concern for a lot of stratas out there. I mean, especially when the new hot season summer's coming back um, and life safety becomes a big issue as well. Um, a couple of things I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Mark Estrada. I'm the key accounts and strata manager for Centra Windows here. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, the information will be provided at the end of the show. Um, what are your windows like now? So a lot of us are sitting in our homes on a Saturday morning, um, you know, looking at our windows. A um, couple of things that we're hearing a lot of from a lot of stratas and owners. Um, do you have condensation or mold on your windows right now? If it's chilly uh, out there and you have a lot of humidity inside your homes, you should be seeing kind of that picture up there right now. Um, do you have discomfort or drafts? Are your furniture pulled away from the walls because that kind of draft circulates but, uh, beside those cold frames and windows? Um, are you worried about life safety? So a big thing, especially, you know, last summer is that we, a lot of homes had overheating. So are your windows, you know, capturing a lot of heat and what can we do to mitigate those? And we're gonna go through a couple of those things through this presentation as well. And have you noticed damage on your furniture floors or walls? So a lot of things that old windows don't have are UV protection. Um, so that fading of the flooring, you know, especially if you've changed out your flooring, um, if you painted your walls and now you're noticing that a lot of the rooms that are direct sunlight have been faded or washed out. Uh, and as well as those of you that have a lot of art on your walls, right? Or, you know, expensive furniture, you wanna make sure that you protect those. So um, have you noticed any of those fading recently? Um, and also uh, those of you who just want to know how to reduce the energy consumption within, uh, you know, your stratas and your, your home. So, and you don't really know where to start. So the great thing about this presentation, and again, thanks to Vizoa, is that we're here to kind of give you a little bit of a guidance. Now, it's not a be all end all, like you have to start here, go to this step and go to that step. It's kind of a general, here's a couple of ideas that you have based on what your, your plans and your goals are. So where do you start? Uh, those of you that have a depreciation report, um, you know, you might have one that says that windows are due or have been overdue, right? Uh, and you've been talking it as a strata for, for quite a while during your meetings and AGMs. Um, do you have a building envelope condition assessment or a BECA? Uh, these are usually assessed uh, building works as a system. So they'll talk about a bunch of things, building envelope related, uh, you know, insulation. They'll talk about your roofs, um, kind of uh, the windows, of course, as that system and how everything ties in uh, and the lifespan for those. Uh, it also will give you opportunities for energy efficiency. So you'll notice if you do have a Becca, uh, it'll give you opportunities of where you can kind of save a lot of energy and trade-offs of that. For example, uh, if you're looking to replace boilers in your condo, uh, building um, windows sometimes can, uh, you know, reduce the, uh, the the size of the boiler uh, that you need because it'll uh, allow for a lot more energy efficiency on the envelope. Um, a lot of questions that come out from uh, Stratus is, do I need a permit to do this? Um, do you need an envelope consultant? Both really great questions and both very specific to your building. So. The best thing that we can recommend is, you know, if you're working with an envelope consultant, if you're working with an engineer, those are great professionals. They can provide you that information if you will need a permit um, on hand. So uh, a lot of buildings, again, are very specific. So I, we can't really answer anything at this presentation specifically to your building, but the best bet is to kind of just reach out and see. Uh, we're more than happy to kind of do an assessment for you on that side. And now window technology. This is kind of where we geek out. This is my favorite part of uh, all the presentations is we get to talk about kind of what has uh, windows started off as and where are they going to and, you know, kind of the really cool stuff. Well, I find it cool. Uh, the, in, the really fun stuff about windows. Um, so let's talk about your windows. If you're in a building, 1970s, 1980s, you're kind of at that 40 year window mark. Um, windows were not energy efficient, as you can most tell <laughs> by your windows. You're getting those drafts coming in, you're getting the heat coming in. Basically, anything that is outside as far as energy and temperature is inside your homes as well. 
I kind of think of it as, you know, birds are really happy and, and everyone's happy outside because they get that free heating in the winter from you folks. Uh, but we kind of want to keep that inside your homes, right? So um, it is the largest source of heat loss is your windows, um, of course, because it is just glass. And typically they're single pane in aluminum. Uh, a lot of buildings back in the day, aluminum was, you know, very cheap to use and it was a good structural product. Uh, and usually just a single piece of glass would keep uh, everything out back in the day, but now it won't. So um, we're trying to elevate windows to a new standard, basically. And again, two things that were very, very, you know, um, that weren't really discussed or thought about back in the day was life safety and, of course, energy efficiency, right? It wasn't those things that were talked about like we do nowadays um, all the time. So what does today's windows look like? Um, you know, you'll have dual is a standard. It's pretty much minimum. No one will sell you a single pane window anymore. Um, and then up to triple pane windows. Uh, and some places will need that. Some places don't, right? And it all depends on what your goals are for your building and what solutions your uh, window or energy provider are, are putting out to you. So they're designed to provide better insulation, of course, right? And we do that in a number of ways, which we'll get into. But two of the main ways that we do that are manipulation in the frame. So what does that look like? And as well as manipulation in our glass. So glass has, you know, if you think of glass or a window as a two by four, it's really not like that anymore. It's uh, basically we work with you and your stratus to make sure that we're getting the right solution for you folks. You know, if you're saying that there's a lot of heat on one side of your building, how do we mitigate that? How do we change that? You know, are you saying that, oh my gosh, you know, we've heard of other stratas where unfortunately a child fell out of a window. Um, how do we do that? How do we make that, uh, you know, life safety for, um, for your windows? And how do we upgrade that to help you folks kind of, you know, get that peace of mind in there? Also, windows technology uh, reduces, like I mentioned before, heat loss and overheating. This last summer, unbelievable, right? You know, you're getting those 40 degrees uh, days and you know how do we deal with that as far as you know the windows you want fresh air but you also don't want all of that heat coming in so how do we do that as a window company and as a strata how do you get the right solution and how do you present that to your owners as well right so like I mentioned before two things that we do um, for windows to help kind of make them more energy efficient uh, and a lot safer the frames so we're talking about vinyl windows today. Uh, vinyl uh, works really well. It's a very energy efficient material. Uh, and the reason because vinyl is not a heat conductor um, like aluminum is, right? So basically if you're right beside an aluminum window right now, you can kind of touch that frame. That frame will tell you how cold it is outside. Um, with a vinyl window, it won't do that, right? You'll basically works to decouple the outside temperature from what it is inside and that kind of works both ways in the winter as well as the summer so if it's hot on the outside whatever temperature you're kind of keeping your windows or your interior of your building uh, that vinyl chambers will work to decouple uh, that temperature so you can see from the picture up there vinyl frames usually have a bunch of chambers and again that just means that whatever is on the outside it takes a while for that temperature to reach the inside of your building uh, usually it'll stop halfway through and kind of the temperatures will blend but that's uh, you know the power of vinyl and the power of uh, technology that we've we've discovered also the more chambers you have in your vinyl frame the more rigid or secure it'll be so again more chambers just think of it this way more chambers the better your uh, window will perform so when you're working with a vinyl window supplier as well, um, all of us have cuts of our frames, kind of like the one up there in the picture. You can ask to see those and those will tell you kind of, you know, the more chambers, the, the better, right? Uh, now comes to the fun part of the glass. Um, so frames are one part, glass is the second part. Um, glass has a coating on it now called low E or low emissivity. If you speak to a window supplier and they do not tell you that they have low E on it, chances are it's not a really great window and won't give you that energy efficiency that you're looking for. Uh, low E uh, works to reflect heat back to its source. So it's the best way I can describe this. Uh, it's like basically a thermos. You know, it kind of keeps your uh, liquids warm and hot throughout the, uh, throughout the day. Uh, likewise, the same thing if you put cold water in there, it basically keeps that cold in there because it reflects the heat out as well. So wherever the heat is coming from, if it's from the sun in the summer, that'll reflect the heat out of your homes. 
If it's heat inside your homes, it'll kind of reflect that back in. Uh, low E glass, uh, again, reflects heat back to source, but it can also lower your heating and cooling costs. Now, a lot of people are thinking, you know, I want to keep the heat out because whatever time or season that you're in is basically how, uh, you know, people are thinking about things. So right now it's really cold outside, right? So we want to keep that heat inside. So whatever you're using to heat your homes, that low E reflects that heat back in. Now, flip that and think about it in a couple of months from now when it's going to be hot and sunny again, you want that heat to be reflected out, right? So the more low E coatings you have on your home or your windows, the better heat reflection you'll have on there. Also, glass themselves, um, you know, we're talking about kind of what's in it in a dual pane. Uh, back in the day, uh, your dual pane windows were filled with air. Air is kind of just a gas that was put in there. It's, a, it's an insulator, no, no problem. But what we use now is argon. Argon gas, basically, it's a lazy gas. So it, again, it doesn't want to transfer that heat or uh, temperatures through uh, that gas quite easily. Low E and argon are no longer just a feature. So you never can ask for, hey, I would like low E and argon on my glass. All windows should have low E or argon. It's required by code. So uh, make sure that when you're asking your window provider or you're working with your window uh, supplier, you know, what's the low E coatings on here? And is my window argon gas filled? It should, it should have both on there. Low E coatings basically will range. Uh, so you saw it on Twitter earlier this week, if, you were, uh, if you're on Twitter. Uh, basically, uh, low E coatings, the more coatings you have of that low E coating on your window, the better the heat reflection. So low E1, uh, that was the question. How much heat reflection does it have? Uh, it was less than 20%. So if you're working with a supplier and they go, we have one coating of low E on there, chances are that solar heat gain that you're going to get, so the amount of heat that comes in through that um, through the sun is not going to be adequate enough to keep you, you folks cool. So we kind of have a base for ours uh, at Centra. It's a two coat of low E, uh, and that reflects about 46% of heat. So think about it right now, uh, that direct sunlight that you're getting in the afternoons, about almost half of that will be gone. So half of that kind of, you get a little bit of respite, you get a little bit of a break uh, from the direct sun that you're getting right now. And then we can up that to a three coatings of low E at 88% heat reflection and up to about uh, four coatings. So that's a low E2 and one other coating on the inside. Uh, and that reflects about 92% of heat. So, you know, think of uh, the three coats and the four coats of low E for south or west facing windows. So those windows that are really hot in the afternoons, the ones that just get blasted with sun, uh, we can manipulate it so we can actually just have those faces of your building upgraded so you don't have to spend the upgrade on all four sides of your building. So again, solar heat gain, we find the right coatings of low E for you and we find that right solution because not all solutions, like not all buildings are identical. Right, so we want to make sure that as a provider, we're giving you the right solution for you folks uh, during that time. One big thing that comes out there, and the question that we get asked a lot of, is your 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 Windows Energy Star rated? Uh, now, Energy Star is a very interesting program, and you have to really understand the four values that are on an Energy Star label. So, on the uh, left hand side of your screens, you'll see that the Energy Star uh, label that will be on typically on Windows. There are four values on there. One is the U value. Uh, U values are the um, insulation value of the window. So how well does the window perform as an entire unit, right? So that's the glass, the frame itself. How does that work? The lower the value, the better the window. So the more energy efficient it is. So that's a 1.1 window on the sample. It's a pretty darn good window right now. Uh, for those of you in certain areas, your, you know, your city might have a bylaw as to what energy or U value your windows need to be at. So please check uh, that specifically uh, because it might require that uh, for your areas. Solar heat gain coefficient. Now that is the amount of heat that is coming from the sun. So that is how much heat is going to transfer through that glass and into your homes. 
visual transmittance, that is how dark your glass is. That's how much visible light is going to come in through your through the windows. Now, a lot of people are like, well, you know, if I look at that window, it's half, it's 0.5 of the visible light is coming in. Sure, that is a, that will be a slightly darker window than what you have currently. However, a clear glass window, similar to what you would have right now, is already at 0.85 visual transmittance. That's 85% of the visible light is coming through your home right now. So you already have, uh, you know, a little bit. The only way to get 100% visible light into your home is if you had no glass. So if you wanted a window that's just a frame, by all means, you can have the clearest glass ever. But visual transmittance, you know, uh, does change by um, the amount of those low E coatings. And again, it comes down to what are your goals? Are you looking to have an energy efficient building or are you looking to have a very, very clear view? Because those things are kind of, you know, um, not complementary to it. So they actually go against each other on that side. Um, now, all of those factors and all of those values come down to an energy rating. That's the energy rating for that window specifically, but it also takes into account other things like air leakage um, and things like that. An Energy Star product is a recommendation, not a standard for the folks. So just make sure that when you're asking your provider, walk me through this. Are you Energy Star rated? Great. What is this going to do for my window if I get this level of an Energy Star window versus you know what you're your, suggesting because we'll work with you to make sure that again the windows provide what you're looking for um, and giving you that solution because the last thing that we want to do is give you a window that might be you know a great energy star rated window but it's not going to work for our climates here in BC it's not going to work for your specific home uh, or your condo because you're next to the coast or right along the water you know a lot of factors take into play of what you know uh, the energy or the window that we would provide for you folks so Definitely keep that in mind. So you're looking for windows now. So now we've talked about windows and you're looking for it. Where do you start? Custom bit windows are off the shelf. Now, if you're looking at um, Home Depot or a whatnot or a home improvement store, um, they'll have a ton of windows on the shelf, right? But again, is that window the right window for you? It may, it may not be. Um, the funny thing is, if you go to a Home Depot and you ask, uh, you know, about questions about windows and installation, they'll refer for you to us anyway. So might as well just ask us and uh, we'll help you out with that. Um, and are you looking for custom built windows? Again, not all buildings are cookie cutter. They're not the same. So when someone says to us, um, you know, I have a standard window, a standard window doesn't really mean much because that that can mean a whole bunch of things. So a couple of questions we would like you to ask. Your, your, you know, when you're thinking about the project, when you're thinking about your goals, what is the warranty of these windows? You know, you want a window that'll last with your building, right? What is the warranty not only for the windows themselves, but also for the installation, right? Because those change um, greatly. Do you want to pro you know, put all, invest all this money into a project, and then all of a sudden, you know, you have an um, issue, and now your installation warranty uh, is not covered, right? So what is that? Does the company use subcontractors? So is it all one, you know, company that's in there for you, or is, are there subcontractors in different trades that'll be, you know, coming in to do finishing touches or, you know, doing the installation specifically, right? Is the building uh, able to be occupied, or can the residents stay within the homes while this renovation is going on? Because right? that's a big one. You don't want to have a two or three day job inside a town home and then all of a sudden those residents have to live somewhere else or those you know so kind of think about it on that side how you know how is how are you going to be inconvenienced or what's the inconvenience on there also hazardous assessments this is a big one and i just want to put a flag on this one because if you ask your contractor of what their hazardous assessment plan is, they should have one. This goes along with the life safety issues of working with contractors and working in stratas, right? All contractors, all construction people should have a hazardous assessment plan that goes along of how are you going to test for hazardous assessments, you know, and what happens if our building does prove to be positive for things like asbestos or lead. Uh, right, and that should all be taken into account when you're thinking about the process and planning for this as well. So when you're starting the process again, think about what are the main goals that you have as a strata. Is it comfort? You know, do you get a lot of re uh, requests or a lot of complaints from a lot of the owners saying, you know, I cannot live inside my unit because it is too hot, 
it's too cold. You know, there's drafts all the time. There's mold on my windows. So all of those things fall into that kind of comfort. Also life safety issues, you know, uh, my windows don't close, my windows don't open, my patio door can't open and can't slide. So those all go into that life safety side. You know, how hot was it? Because that uh, plays into the factor of life safety as well, right? You don't want people living inside 40 degree homes because uh, what happens is it just traps the heat there and there's no uh, respite for that heat, right? Do you want to reduce, reduce the energy consumption in your buildings, right? Um, you know, a lot of buildings might have hot water heating and they're using a lot of energy to heat the buildings. So how can we reduce that? Uh, is there an appearance from the outside? You know, are the windows falling apart? Do they look, you know, uh, slightly worse for wear? Um, you know, that all adds into kind of the whole aesthetic of your strata and your building. And when you, you know, you're, when people are looking to live somewhere, they're going to notice these kinds of things. Functionality for your windows, you know, do they not make sense anymore? Uh, there are times when the functionality of the window made sense. So like it would cantilever out like an awning, you know, but over time, maybe that has started to kind of wear down on a pathway. And now that awning kind of comes out into a path and now can actually like injure people and things like that. Are we going to change that functionality to become uh, something more usable? Also, when you're doing a window project, you know, uh, maybe your windows have slid one way for the whole time you've been there or your patio doors. And now you're trying to think, you know, this is great. I can actually switch that opening. So think about functionality. Think about how that's going to impact your, your uh, home. Uh, and then also budget. Budget's a big one. So, you know, uh, you can shoot for the moon. You can get the best things that you want, the most energy efficient product out there, but you will be paying premiums for those. So, you know, what is your strata's budget and how can your window provider or your contractor help you kind of meet that budget and get you exactly the solution that you're looking for? A couple of the resources that we went through on here, please feel free to visit uh, our website, that's centralwindows.com. Uh, we also have a blog, a couple of blogs on there. Uh, this will all get sent out to you so you can actually click on these links directly. You don't have to write them down uh, furiously. And again, if you want to uh, subscribe to our newsletter, we send out a newsletter uh, monthly uh, that just gives you kind of updates on Windows and what's happening in the, in the world of Windows. If you're looking for questions or if you have any questions, I know we're going to uh, open it up shortly for Q&A. So um, again, I'm Marcus Strata, uh, certified window geek. So if you've ever seen our, any of our ads or windows um, that kind of flash on Google, uh, I'm usually the guy that gets a water balloon thrown in my face. Um, so if you haven't seen those, uh, please go to our website and check those out or our YouTube channel. Um, it's quite funny. We have a whole bunch of things, but we call ourselves window geeks um, because we really care. Uh, we really are nerdy about windows. We love to talk about technology with people. So by all means, feel free to reach out to anyone at Centra and they'll be happy to answer any of those questions that you may have or myself as well. Uh, you can find me uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, as well as uh, you can email me directly, uh, visit the website, and also call one of our local branches, Victoria or Nanaimo. Right now, we're kind of working in COVID protocols still, so if you did want to come by the showrooms, you do have to make an appointment, so please feel free to call one of those numbers, uh, and then they'll uh, set you up an appointment with a, with a window geek out there as well.